Hello guys, this is The Cold Project bringing, bringing you a thermal expansion tutorial. Today's tutorial will be on the Glacial Precipitator. Now for this machine it basically it makes either snowballs, snow or ice. Now this one has power and a water source but it's not working. That's because I can't really see a use for it. So, so you can see it's making snowballs, now it's going to be making ice. And then, yeah, s like snowballs, snow, then ice. Ice goes slower than like everything else, sort of. We'll disable it again. As you can see, it took quite a bit of water. You are able to fully automate the system. This one's just deactivated as well because it does take quite a bit of water, and I didn't feel like constantly refilling that. But I should probably just have left it on. As you can see, it makes quite a bit of items. That's probably from like two tanks or something. If you really, really want snowballs or a placeable water source block, this is the machine to use. I can't really see much of a use for this. It only uses two megajoules or like RF a tick, so it doesn't really use a lot of energy. So, it uses 800 RF for for like making four snowballs and I thought these could only stack to like 16 to be honest but I'm bonus I uh, suppose I don't get that okay anyway great stuff so yeah that's the glacial precipitator not really an awful lot to it power interface it's really really easy to just select the things that you want the tabs it can use 20 RF a tick which is okay and it requires a constant water source so just put in like an aqueous accumulator next to this thing and it'll, it'll pretty much run forever okay so I think that's it for the glacial precipitator so thank you um, now I'm messing up thank you very much for watching I hope you found this tutorial informational as well as fun to watch I'm not showing the recipe and I'm not really going to the details because I don't want to bore you guys. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been The Cold Project. See you guys in the next video.